All right, so where is the bomb related data stored? Bomb or bill of materials. So if you take a home theater, it consists of a TV, consists of an audio, consists of speakers, and so on. Bombs could be single level or multi-level where the speakers themselves could contain some components like woofer, tweeter, so on. So how is this data structured in the system? The first level table is called MAST. This table just contains the material number, bomb number, and then some of the details, but these are the two main fields. And this material is going to be the top level material. The bomb number is going to be a technical representation of this hierarchy. Where is that stored? Again, there is a second table called STKO, which contains the bomb number along with some of the details like the plant. For example, this bomb is created in the San Francisco plant or created in the Chicago plant. And then it's also going to have a usage. For sales and distribution, we use the usage of five, but you could have other usages like the technical disc technical uh, bombs or manufacturing bombs or production bombs. Each bomb has its use, and for SD, we typically use usage five. And then this table is not going to have the component. It's only going to have the bomb number and some header-related data. The actual structure of the bomb is contained in STPO. So this is going to have the bomb number, the component, which is, say, the TV or the audio. And then it's going to have some of the details like the preceding and the subsequent. So for example, uh, if you have TV, TV, sorry, bomb number for the entire thing is going to be 1000. 20. So the bomb number is going to be 100020. The component is going to be TV and the preceding is going to be 0. And the subsequent is going to be an audio. So the entire bomb is structured in a hierarchical fashion using preceding and subsequent numbers in the table STPO. So if you want to have a technical description of the bomb, you need to go to these three tables, MAST, STKO and STPO.